aspiring actors, one, to define yourself. It's now, easy to... What do you mean by that, though? Well, it's easy when, when you know, we, nowadays, the new age thought out there, the law of attraction, all these different things to think about. People want to think that, I think I'm an actor, now I'm an actor. It's not the truth. The truth is, actions speak louder than words. So, by being an actor, you become an actor. So, mm. you know, as you choose certain roles to play, and you learn the character, traits, all those things you need to do to play the role... And you play those roles and you connect to the character. When, when you're acting, it's not just about you in the character. It's about the audience relating to you. So if, if you're acting and the audience isn't relating to you, you're not doing your job. And then sometimes the Hollywood pays people that you just can't relate to. They, they pay people who have a look. Mm -hmm. So it's not about connecting to them. It's about looking at them so uh, okay so for me i had to overcome that working within my craft working working at strasburg because strasburg they own the method basically and once you learn the method you basically interject the method into anything that you do and the method basically is using real life experiences within your your acting Okay. Yeah, I think I it makes it kind of more genuine that way as well, right? Yes. It's like a real emotion. I, I mean, I could, I could definitely see that. I, I, I did have a question here, though. Um, this one's actually going to pertain to Jean a little bit. Is as you can see, his hair kind of, <laughs> kind of curves over, kind of like that JFK thing. Okay. But he has this move that he does all the time. Where he thinks he's John Travolta from Greece. John, oh, uh, do, do, do it for him. Do it oh, for him. Oh, about, uh, hey, Danny Zuko, right? Yeah, Danny Wait. Zuko. Yeah. Well, hang on. I want, I want to make sure I'm doing the right move, though. Are you talking about the, the hair yeah, thing? Yeah, the hair flip. Do the hair okay, flip. Okay, hang on. Let me take off my headphones, all right? All right. So Jean's taking off his headphones, is. and and he's going to so, do his, uh, his thing. Like, hey, it's Danny Zuko. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you see it? And I think my hair, it kind of pushes back just right to where it works out that way. And it's not even wet. If it were wet, it would be perfect. But. Well, apparently you're doing a good job because Marcus over here is taking photos of you. Yeah. So. I had to get a pick of him. Come on. Hey, now. I'm used to it. Paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think just off, I don't think he has any like theater training, but just off a move like that, when you say like a certain look about him, <laughs> does Jean stand a chance of becoming a movie star? Because if he does, I might manage this guy. Yes, he definitely has the look. And by that, oh, I mean. Oh, wow. Okay. And, and by that, I, <laughs> I was mean, hoping you say no. Yeah, by that, I mean, <laughs> look. Rude. Look, he's groomed. You can see he washes his face every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little pretty boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's eloquent. Now, Mick, on the other hand. <laughs> hold up, man. This interview's over. Hey, let we me got, finish, Mick. Hey, we got some kind of other broadcast that's the, going on. That's half the part. <laughs> now, I think what we're talking about um, connecting to the method, it, it, that, that, that comes something. When you're watching someone, and you start to feel something they, when they move you. In fact, they're giving you something. And you can feel what they're <laughs> giving you, whether it's in the flesh, whether it's through a TV screen. You know, they say images can speak a thousand words. So it really just depends on how you, 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 you capture the image and, and what's being captured with the person, you know, who's filling that void within the image. Okay, so I, I want to throw this one at you real quick. So what kind of actor... Do you, could you foresee Jean playing, and what kind of character could you uh, foresee myself playing? Or if you even foresee me <laughs> okay. in a movie at all. Well, so, I think if you're a good actor, maybe you could do a number of roles, right? Yes, that's the key. Range, range allows you to do n a number of roles for your business. Mm -hmm. Now, for Jean, I would say Boy Next Door. That's one of the first types. <laughs> that's just, you know, it's just one of the first types that speaks to me. Okay. Um for you, oh, Mick, here we go. My favorite part. He's like in the, in, <laughs> in the movie Shameless. <laughs> no, I, I would say you're you're you have a laid back persona about you. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Your your hair is long. You're not as groomed. Oh damn! As John, <laughs> shots but, fired. But the laid back essence of you, I would say you're probably you, you seem like somebody's best friend. You seem like you seem like like maybe. Maybe I'm not gonna say if he's the, if he's the boy next door who's trying to get the girl next door. You're the best friend who's encouraging him. He can do it. Saying oh, that he yeah. can do it. Hold on a second. You so got it. In, in terms of like Academy Awards, 
So obviously, it sounds like neither I or him got the got the lead character award. <laughs> but uh, who's going to get supporting actor, and who's going to get like the the background actor award? This, you're going to get the this supporting. This is politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to know. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. <laughs> this matters. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not gonna have any this hurt politics, feelings. Man. I'm not gonna have any hurt feelings. <laughs> but we got it. We got We got to have he, the showdown for the segment. Ends. He's trying to unofficially answer it without hurting your feelings. It sounds like. So, so is he gonna get the best supporting <laughs> actor award? And I'm gonna get the background award. Who knows? Okay. So hey, he's, okay. So um, shifting gears. I guess you're, you're also a producer, right? You're, you produce I am, films. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to make I, sure we get that out so there. So I, I, I shifted from just saying I am an actor, and I used to say I'm an actor. Writer, director, and producer in that particular order. That's a lot. Right? That's just crazy. And then I now say I'm an actor and filmmaker. Okay. Kind of like the artist. incorporates everything in there. Yes. Okay. I and so you. that was the leap because before I was, I, I, I felt like I was struggling just trying to be an actor. Mm -hmm. I made the leap into being a filmmaker. If you're a filmmaker, acting, all of that is intertwined into being a filmmaker. So I had to get okay. outside of the box, and filmmaking is ultimately what I really wanted to do. Okay. While well, you're doing it? I think that all yeah. kind of falls under the umbre umbrella of being an artist, though, right? Yes. So I guess yes. ultimately you're, you're an artist. I am, yes. And it, as an artist, I have different facets to myself uh -huh. because I also rap, I sing. No, you do? I do. It's a facet of me being an actor and exploring myself, and once I learned I had the juice, I had to... I had to flow with it. And so, um, you know, <laughs> I, I work on music now, too. I'm a new artist is what I tell people because um, artists, in my opinion, represent their generation. And so sure. And so when, when it comes to respecting the generation, the generation is a collective. And so if you haven't embraced the collective before you start creating art, then you're not really an artist from my perspective. You have to sort of, you have to be one with your environment, meaning you have to be aware of what's in your environment before you really are, before you really can become. So I'm a new artist. I'm still learning, but I'm creating music. I got music now on SoundCloud. So how, how would we find you on SoundCloud? Um, you can go to soundcloud.com slash Falaji Guru. And Falaji is actually my, major, my middle name, and that's, that's that's straight Nigerian. Huh. Falaji. Um <laughs> F O L A J I G U R U. Falaji Guru. And that's soundcloud.com slash Falaji Guru. Okay, fair enough. That sounds pretty dope. I just uh hmm, I wasn't able to find it in the Google. <laughs> uh, real quick, I, I wanna ask you this before we end up having a before this interview comes to an end with you. Um <clears throat> you'll say let's say you get on the next big Titanic wave or, or the next uh, Spider Man wave or whatever it is, right? Man, I miss the wave. And well, hold on, hold on. There, you know they're always making <laughs> there these is. movies. The hundred million dollar waves keep coming. So <laughs> let's say now, like, now you're at, you're at A list, you know, status. You're at the top of the A list status. Now I'm quasi. Yeah, man, you're you're at Beverly Hills parties, you know, after the premieres and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And and there are all these little starlets going. Who are you gonna hook up with? Like, everybody's there. Everybody's there. Who who are you gonna hook up? Who with? Who am I gonna hook up with? Yeah, we going with Kristen Stewart, Katy Perry. We going with Rihanna. Katy Perry's kinda. Katie Rihanna, Perry. Rihanna, she's on fire right now. Okay, Rihanna, but I might hold out. Are we talking with threesome with them or what? No, no, no. I, I'm, 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 I like one at a time. One at but a you time. know who? Okay. I, you know who I'm really who's on my head right now? Uh, who's that? Serena Williams. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Well, she just. She's, I'm all on it. She's she's pregnant now or she's engaged? I don't or? know. She. I was trying to stay away from the media, but the, her, every time I see her picture, <laughs> yeah. I just get I go I, I get I, I'm on stuck mode. Hey, well I'm gonna tell you what, man. I, you know what? We're gonna try to. I'll even try to help you if I can. I want to get you into the Avengers okay. movies or that whole Marvel world. That way, you can like become friends with Wonder Woman and send her my way. No, uh, I already <laughs> called her Gal Gadot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, especially now, send her my way. Yeah. That way, I can snub Jean. I'm on it. the Black Panther way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcus, we appreciate you coming down here, man. And, uh, Glad to be here. And, and, and joining all Skull and Bones for this because uh, we know you're going to have your multi-million dollar mansion in Beverly Hills. And I know you're going to invite us, right? Of course. Uh, uh, of course. Th thank you. I, I think you're going to stick around, right? Or I you? am. Okay, so uh, I won't kind of exit you out of here. But we appreciate you, you know, your, uh, your insight on the industry. And, you know, yeah, we're glad you're here. So uh, I guess coming up next we have uh, Wedding 
Wedding topic, right? Yeah, but uh, introduced by Playboy, apparently. All right, here we go. Stick around. We'll get into that coming up next on Skull and Bones Radio. Uh, uh, uh. Don't even think about leaving. Tell him why not, Batman. I will find out who your mom is. Skull and Bones Radio. We'll be right back. This is Stephanie from PB. You listen to Skull and Bones Radio. This is Christy from Palm Springs. This is Sari from LA. You're listening to Skull and Bones Radio. And out here we listen to Skull and Bones Radio. And who are they? LA's favorite show. Oh, we like that. Say it one more time. LA's favorite show. You. you. <laughs> there we go. I, I will say Jean's very talented with all that imaging that he does. Hey, man, Skull and Bones Radio. we got to give 110%. That's right, baby. All right, so again, we are Skull and Bones Radio. We do have some uh, in-studio guests with us, right, Mick? Yeah, we do. So we're, we're having an in, in-studio in, in the second segment, which you call a veteran's powwow. So obviously Jean back there, he was in the Navy. I myself was in the USMC. To my right, we have Marcus, who is the Army Rangers. And across the way, we have a new guy that just uh, walked in. His name is Gabe Mosick, and he was a Marine Corps badass, and he was an uh, infantry guy. And I believe he was, like, even shot and stabbed, and, you know, I think he was bit by dogs, and he was just, like, he had to claw his way out of out of Iraq. But uh, I was a calm guy, man. Oh, is that what it was? Uh, a communications guy? <laughs> yeah. 06, 51, and 56. I'm pretty sure that's called a battery-operated grunt. I'm pretty sure it's what they're called, right? Yeah, they use this for a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, man. We're glad that you guys are here, both Marcus and Gabe. So Glad to be here. All right, cool. So here's what we got going on. John, why don't you hit us with your best shot? All right, so here's what we got, man. Uh, we're heading into wedding season, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, based off this, uh, pl- this uh, I guess I'll plug the article, Playboy is uh, who it's from. <laughs> um, they're, they're telling us that uh, we're going right into wedding season, which means September and October are the uh, the two most popular months for weddings. So I uh, right now the month is August. <laughs> we're going right into the eye of the storm. <laughs> All right. So with that, technically I've, we're July moving into August. Yeah, is that what it, see I, man, I'm losing track of time. Nah, I knew I knew <laughs> <what> you were. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that means you got plenty of time to prep and get ready. So what we've got here is a guide to hooking up at weddings. I don't know what uh, the marital or relationship relationship status is for for you, Marcus and Gabe, but um, I'm pretty sure everybody in here is a bachelor. A bachelor. Now I'm curious though, John, <laughs> is this is this what happened? Did you like over the weekend watch that movie Wedding Crashers or something? Is that what's inspired this? You know, when I come to Skull and Bones Radio, <laughs> I try to think of you know content that's going to be uh, relevant for all of us. You know, and I want to keep it fun. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think you went to a wedding not that long ago, and uh, I'm guessing maybe you tried to crash it. Uh, I did go to a wedding. I did not crash it. I was the plus one. Oh. But I, I, I was at the wedding, and I think there was plenty of opportunities to uh, to hook up. If you weren't that plus one, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, he can uh, still hook up as a plus one. I, I, guess, I, guess, well, I guess you could. <laughs> he might get in trouble with his date, though, right? Especially <laughs> if he's the invitee. <laughs> well, no, you take the she, date. She's not going to like that unless she's a double teamer. Yeah, <laughs> oh! yeah, yeah. Man, we just went there. We got a we got a room full of military guys. So See, you guys, you guys are gonna mess around and try to get me into trouble. <laughs> All right, man. What you got for us? What's All guide? Right. What's so the guide? The, the guide. So we're gonna go through a list of uh, of tips to help you guys, you know, hook up at these weddings. So uh, number one, we have practice, practice, practice. Uh oh. More than half of online daters believe weddings are the perfect time to hook up because the setting makes uh, makes it easy for a cultivate what is it Cult- cultivative conversation uh, through connections. Weddings mm. can be short and the reception's even shorter, which means there's little margin for error. So you want to make sure that you get your practice in. So practice, uh, I don't know, I don't know, on, on your own time or. Oh, so, so wait, hold on. So basically, are, are you saying like on Friday, Saturday nights, and Taco Tuesday, Thirsty Thursdays, go out and just hit on as many chicks as you can and exactly. get that, you know, figure out so, what works and what doesn't. Yeah, that way you can use it at the weddings. Yeah, yeah. You want to prep. You want to have conversations <laughs> with uh, stranger, strangers, women next to you in the grocery line, maybe on a train. Just kind of spark up random conversations. Okay. With females. In your case, Mick, I don't know if you want to throw in <laughs> uh, a, a Caitlyn Jenner or... <laughs> oh, man, what... What are you doing, man? I thought we was in Skull and Bones, man. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Jeez. I, I might have to do something with Caitlyn Jenner. If you had the opportunity. You would? You know, listen. Listen. I come from the black culture. Okay. okay? We are the most open-minded people on the planet. There's no oh. doubt about that. So, All right. I love black women, but I like Caitlyn Jenner or Kylie Jenner, whatever her name is. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a big difference between Caitlyn Oh, no, they're talking about Caitlyn. Oh, I'm sorry. I get them all mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> 
the one that was Olympic uh, gold medalist is a guy. And Bruce Jenner? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, 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 yeah, talking yeah. About, we're talking about did the one I that, say that name? And also woman yeah, of the did. year. Oh, no.